Hi everybody. So in this lesson, we're going to look at the difference between discrete and continuous data. Now I have two kind of loose definitions here. Discrete data can only take certain values and continuous can take any value. Now I find the best way to kind of explain the difference between the two is to get a lot of examples and then decide which one is or into which category it goes discrete or continuous and then kind of discuss them a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move them into the correct category. I suggest you have a guess. Well, see if you know the answer, but even if you don't know the answer, have a guess. Choose one um, for each of these before I do it. So the number of students in a class, does it go into discrete or continuous? Well, it goes into discrete because you can only have a certain number of students in a class. It's either going to be 10 or 11 or 12 or 13 or 25 or 26 or whatever. You can't have 22.345682 students or you can't even have five and a half students or 10 and a half students or whatever. So it has to, it is discrete. It is not continuous. Shoe size. Shoe size is also discrete. Now, a common misconception is that discrete is like whole numbers or integers. And it's like shoe size would be, let's say, 6 or 7 or 8 or 9. But it doesn't have to be integers. For example, you could have shoe size of 6.5, 7, 7.5, 8, 8.5. Now, even though I have 0.5, it's still discrete because it's it's jumping. It goes from 6.5 to 7, 7 to 7.5. You can't have 6.5, 2, 3, 4, 2, 8, 9, 7, whatever. Okay, so just just be clear. It's, it's not discrete does not mean a whole number. It just means certain values. Okay, now here I've deliberately put in um, one that's similar to shoe size. So shoe size is discrete. Foot length is continuous because you're the length of your foot yes it can it can be anything it can take any value um your foot doesn't it's not like it's 20 centimeters and then the next day it's 21 centimeters or even the next second it's then it goes to 22 centimeters your, your foot doesn't grow like that it grows continuously um height is similar you don't just you don't just suddenly get a foot taller or even a centimeter taller or even um, a millimeter taller or even the smallest length you can think of it happens continuously now I actually I like to say that let's think of height let's say six foot I like to sometimes ask the question how many people in the world are six foot tall exactly and the answer is zero nobody there is nobody in the world that is exactly six foot tall. It's it's mathematically correct to say it it is zero people because you're either going to be a tiny, tiny little bit more than six or a tiny, tiny little bit less than six. Now, if I said how many people are between, let's say, between between five point nine 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 nine, nine feet and 6.0000001 feet then yeah there could be many people between the between uh, this and this in terms of height but there's zero people that are exactly six foot and that's quite important okay time to get to school how long does it take you to get to school that's continuous because time is continuous it's not now if it said time rounded to the nearest minutes then yeah that's discrete because it's either five minutes or six minutes or 10 minutes or 20 minutes or 21 minutes but if it's just time there's a there's always that little difference it's it's never exactly 10 minutes it's like 10 point something olympic 100 meter final times now i've i'm deliberately putting in ones that are slightly tricky this is discrete and the reason is because if you watch the Olympics, they measure them to the nearest hundredth of a second. So the world record is like, from Usain Bolt, 9.5. I can't believe I'm struggling with this. It's either 5.8 or 5.9. I'm going to go with 
hope I'm correct there. Um, so the 100 meter final times, it's it's measured to the nearest hundredth of a second. Usain Bolt did not run it in exactly 9.58 seconds. It was rounded to the nearest hundredth of a second. And sometimes you'll see two people finish it with the exact same time. And that's when you get what they call a photo finish. And they actually need to look at the look at the photo to see who actually crossed the line first. Um, okay, coffee temperature. Well, if you've seen my lesson on exponential functions, you'll see that, well, maybe that doesn't mention continuous, but the temperature is continuous because it continuously drops. It gets cooler and cooler and cooler. It doesn't suddenly go from 80 degrees to 70 degrees or even from 80 to 79. It just slowly, continuously gets cooler. Age in years, it's discrete because you do jump. You jump from 16 to 17, and then from 17 to 18. That's in years. Time you've been alive, that's continuous. Number of goals scored, that's discrete. You either scored five goals or six goals or seven goals. You didn't score 5.2 goals or anything like that. And the mass of apples in a shop, well, mass is mass is continuous because again it doesn't jump it's not like one apple is uh, 60 grams and then uh, another apple is 62 grams now it, if the, the shot might weigh it to the nearest gram but really the the mass of the apple is continuous and you could have an apple that weighs uh, six point one two three four five six seven eight nine ten grams or whatever um okay that's discrete v continuous hopefully it's clear yes it's very important and um it will be coming up in all all along the statistics topic you will see discrete and continuous data so make sure you understand what the difference is